wife's supposed to have authority over the men. But Pamela, you don't want to hear the Bible. The Bible tells you to do what it says. There's still things you have to do. You have to teach the women and the children how to love their husband. You can't, the women think they already know how to love men. But the older women, which is you, Pamela, you're supposed to know this. So everybody in Earthshot, listen up. We're reading the Bible. And we are reading it for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're the real Jew. You're the real Jew. All right, you got it? Leviticus 21, chapter 21, verse 5. You got it? Now, we're reading to the men. Let's see what God says. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They said, I make boldness upon their head. It said, they. Read it slow. You ain't got to fly through it. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So here's their covering. No, no, no. No, now listen. I can't shave my head bald as long as I can grow hair. Right. Ain't that what that just said? I can't shave my head bald. Right. Now let's go back to 1 Corinthians 11. So if God said I can't shave it, my hair is not my covering because I must have her on my head. But you're saying this right here does not mean what it says. You got it? First Corinthians chapter 11. First Corinthians chapter 11. We're going right back to where we was at. I should have. First Corinthians. No, it's not. God already said I can't shave my head. So let's see if he calls it a covering. Hold on, Pamela. We're reading the Bible. We're reading the Bible. Read it. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. So now it said, me having my head covered does what? Dishonor his head. If I cover my head, Pamela, yeah. I dishonor Christ. So you're talking a hat, a cloak, a scarf. Right, what because, because we just, wait, because we just read... Because I can't shave myself bald. So like what so like what my man got on his head right now, is he in sin or he doing what the Bible says? Okay, so why why is he not doing what the Bible says? Okay, so what should he do with his hat? He got something covered with his hat. Right, so what should he do with the hat? His hat if you gonna come subject to the world. Because he is now, he's listening to the Bible now. No, I'm just I just want you to tell I answer what should he do with his hat. It's easy. Okay, so should you remove your hat? All praises, take your hat off. Now, he has hair on his head. What does he do with that? He keeps it. Okay, is he covered up? Yes. He just his took the cut. Wait, wait. He his just took the covering covered. off. Yeah, but I'm saying to you that. So God now, gave read on. To Hold on. Cover our head. That's Pamela, what listen to this right here. Verse 4. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, this earth her head. But if a woman prays or prophesy with her head uncovered, she dishonoreth her head, which is the man. So, so whenever. So, Sean, here's what the word says. No, no, no. Hold on. If you read on. on your hair watch. and go bald, it's watch. a sin. But if you're not here. You're it's supposed to do horrible. now. Watch this. That's now you. Daddy. Now you just go. Stay where you at. It's in here. So now you said it's a sin for her to be shown. We are. We agree. But let's read on down. Watch and see what it says. For that is even that all. Where are you reading? Hold on. First Corinthians 11. We back over there. Okay. We are at verse six now. Okay. All right. Verse six. That's where you at, right? Okay. I see it. Oh, finishing verse five, going into verse six. Here we go. For that is even all one, as if she were saving. 
Or if the woman be so the same, if a woman has her head uncovered, it's the same as her being shaved bald. Now, but a woman ain't supposed to be bald. Right. So she's also supposed to cover her head right. and not be bald. Right. That's what that scripture just said. Right. So you, you have so you covered. have hair on your head and you're also supposed to put a covering on it. Oh, plus, you're saying double. That's like woman wearing a wig. Read it and again. Weed. No. 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 Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Oh. A weave is not a covering. Oh, it was something I said. A huh? weave is not a covering. Okay. They need you need to stop. Thank you. For one, our women need but to quit this wearing weaves. Our people want to wear weave and trust them. This ain't no real covering. This Wait, is something we I'm just we on. just read that this, this is a covering. Is your covering. We just in this on. Pamela. No, God is genuine. Read on. Read God on down. Genuine. Watch this. Yes, he is, and I, he ain't confusing. I I, he sure he ain't. is not confusing. And you and Pamela. 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 Now, what does the Bible say about a woman over talking a man? No, it does not say that. What does it say? Pamela. What does it say? Let's get it. First Corinthians 14 and 33. Tell it. All right. Listen up, Pamela. Tell it. Gracious. Read. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion. God is not confusing. He does not cause anybody to be confused. Read. But of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. Uh, now, so there's no confusing. The first thing he says after that is what? Let your women keep silence in the church. So, Pamela, you're not supposed to be over talking me while I'm trying to read the okay, Bible. I'm you understand now. that? Okay, all oh, praise. Like Wait, this. Pamela, here you go again. Here we are. Here you go again. Okay, this is Listen. What you're for. No, uh, what I'm asking for, we are reading scriptures okay. because you also said you're a pastor and, as well. And I got a Bible. And you and said, I read and, understand and yes, myself. you can read. Okay. And you have, and you can understand. Okay, I'm doing but, the law. but by the Bible, what you're doing, because you say you don't congregate, what you can get up off the floor, I'm, I'm Pamela. Fine. I'm neology. I'm neology. I'm neology. Oh, oh, okay, okay, shot. Oh, I'm fine. Here. Theology. Neology. Neology. <laughs> Neology. 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 All right. I okay. Well, you you do what you do. Okay. okay. Yes. Let's go back where we said in First Corinthians oh, 11. Is. Now, because let's read that. Read. What time is it? First Corinthians chapter uh, 11, verse six. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shown. It said, if she is not covered. Then it says, let her also be shorn. So we're talking about a covering. Read on. Let her also be shorn. Uh -huh. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, uh -huh. let her be covered. So if it is a shame for a woman to be bald, it say, let her be covered. Well, this imitation cover wait, wait. Right it just told you okay. that your hair it's not the covering that is talking about. That's what we just read. Right? Did we not just read that? I'm telling you this imitation cover is what's going to keep me in the kingdom. No, no, you got Now, there's many commandments. Now, there's many commandments. No, 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 and bothered and things you got to go to take care of people take care of people doing what what do you mean i i take care of disabled people okay you you're and working you, a day and yes on the sabbath, on the sabbath. no i ain't asking day. you to quit your job uh, i didn't you ask you to quit exactly but if you could get today off what should you do if you could get today off That's why I if you could get today off That's you should be I off stopped. so now pamela because let's go to First Timothy, uh, uh, two, and I believe uh, twelve. Let's go down there. Liberty. Listen to this right here. Come on, Listen to this liberty. right here. We are, we are preaching liberty, cause Christ is liberty. We're not under the, the sacrificial law, but we are bound under God. We are God's servants. Okay. That's who you're supposed to be. I am. Meaning, you do whatever He says. I am, but it's period. Not with this on. Let's read that. You said, but not with that on. But God I said, put it on. Not. Okay, and, hey, God, hey, we all out here hot. You got it? Let's read that. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 12. But I suffer not a woman. Jump up to 11. Yes, sir. Verse 11. Let the women learn in silence 
with all subjection. Like you said, y'all must be in subjection and it must be silence. That's what God says. Hold on, let's wait for it to get there. First Timothy 2 and 10. I introduce you to this Bible too. Oh, we got one. We got a 1611 Bible. That's what he reading right here. It's just a smaller okay. one of the big one that you but got. But it don't mention the Mahamasia and it don't mention Yehoshua. And okay. Is that, uh, so so what is that? I mean, do we have? To, are you saying we have to so, say those well, things? Because we deal with a black Messiah, we can use his name. No, if you you can use whatever name you want, as long. But if you don't do what he says, then what? Then we're all going to hell. Or just okay. I'm going so to hell. okay. So you understand <laughs> that if we don't keep the commandments, you can say whatever you want. It don't matter. Yes. All praises. Yes. So we we all agree there. To the most so high now God. let's read that. Read that right Thank there again. You, we're at First Timothy chapter two and verse eleven. Help her out, officer. Help her find I got it. I'm a strip. I come from studying. I studied in Bible. I studied in, uh, what they call it? The, uh, Theology school. Yeah, they call it. Those, Which they, is they cemetery it school. Cemetery. Yeah, First Timothy 2.11. She's going, going the wrong there. way. I told the brother there that it takes years, time, unction, desire now, to get out of bed now, and read. It's not a cemetery yes, school because it will help you to find But it does not truth. teach you the Bible. It don't teach you the whole truth, but you learn the scripture. Wait a minute. Wait Wait a minute. It don't teach you the whole truth, but you learn the scripture. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. It Boom. don't teach you the whole truth, but you learn the scriptures, and then God You got it? To, she got it? The most high leads now, you to all Now, truth. how does God lead people? What does By he do? Word. Okay, give me, hold that. Acts 8. We, hey. read it. Stay where you at. We coming right back there. We finna read the script. Acts 8 and 30. Watch this. this. Let's see how God leads you. He does not lead you on your own. That's no. not what he does. Read that. No. Acts chapter 8 verse 30. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. He said, understand this now what thou readest. So Philip went to the eunuch and he asked him, look, do you understand what you're reading? It's because a lot of our people go to a cemetery school or they read the Bible on their own. And then they say they got the understanding. But this right here says... He asked him, do you understand what you're reading? Right. Read. And he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? He, this man was humble enough to say, you know what? How can I understand except some that? man should guide me? What's Acts chapter 8, verse 30. 8, 30. This don't stay on. Do your best. It's chapter 8, verse 30. And then now hold the Timothy's because we're going to go right there. I got Timothy. All praises. We working with you. So understand, a hey, family across the street, hey, y'all come talk to us. Y'all are the real Jews of the Bible. Right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are out here for you, reading the scriptures out of the Bible. Because most of our people don't know the truth. The pastors are not teaching us the truth. These schools are not teaching us the truth. And you must come learn who you are. Y'all are the real Jews, and we must Wake up and keep the laws. Right, Read it right. again. Acts 8. The book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 30. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. So he was reading Isaiah. Read. And said, understand it's thou what thou readest. And he said, how can I accept some man should guide me? So he said, how can I understand what I'm reading except a man teach me? So there is no way. God gives us the understanding by ourselves. Right. That's not what happened. So for you to say that that happened, that's false, because that's not biblical. All throughout the Bible, God always, well, what was the reason for the 12 apostles? For them to go teach everybody. What was the reason of Jeremiah, Isaiah? They always taught. They always went out. But you're saying, I learned it on my own. That's, no, you said you, you learned it. You no, said God is going to guide you on your own. No, listen. I have went to, I've been in different ministries for 31 years. Pamela, who's supposed listen, to guide you? The Most High. How is he going to do so? Through his leaders. Which ones? Uh, who I choose. What they look, who you choose or not what he choose? When, when he appoints me to a, a ministry, yes. And who's it, who's the leaders that he's going to choose? I got to pray about it and believe him because do, I'm not going in bondage. No, uh, okay. What's bondage? What do you mean? Bondage, bondage? means spiritual um, truths that don't line up like with what? today's what the, well, you works. Said today's and works? today's movement of men. Now, yeah. let's read that. Now we're going back to Timothy's, Pamela. Okay. Because we're going to read about something. That's my name. 
we finna read about what happens today and how this society is a lie. Okay. We read know this. it's a lie. First Tim and now you just that's out of your mouth. Yes. You just and said I we understand the, the way now you just said the ways of this land is a lie. But you turn around and say that bondage is going you against had to this get land. There some way. You didn't get there. You just Pamela, remember, you what just did we just read 70s. about the you Bible? What did we just read so that the woman is supposed to do, summer. Pamela? I'm just giving you truth. No, you're not. Okay. Read this. It's about to go down. <laughs> Okay. First Timothy chapter two, verse eleven. Uh -huh. Let the woman learn and so yes. That's but what God said. It seed. said, "Let the woman uh -huh. learn in sight." Is that an optional or a command? She doesn't have a brain to think. Is that she option do or the word. she does not want to hear the Bible? Wrong with that. You don't. That's the, is that a commandment that it's we just read? So what should the woman do? Because it did not say she don't have a brain. Okay. All, all our women were smart. We had ideas? women. The women in the Bible owned this. They had their own way of making ideas. money and everything. But you're saying they're dumb. No. That's not in the Bible. Okay. So the Bible is just telling you exactly what that just said. Okay. Be quiet. Okay, I'm quiet. That's the law. I my talk that is though. that is a law, Pamela. Okay. That's not an option she for can't you. Share talk. Not while we're teaching the Bible. Okay. And I'm at, no. The thing is, is I want to talk to you, but you won't even let me ask you a I was question. Just trying to get my talk out. That's the problem. Every, all our women want to talk over the men now. Oh, we are different. Is? Yes. I thought I changed something. Just because you on your knees doesn't mean anything oh, if you don't do it what does. it says. Right. Read. And my mom what the room? Yeah, hold on. Are you still talking now? Like the Bible said, okay. our women do I'm not want. Our women don't want to do what God says, I'm but they said they believe in the Bible. I'm Read. Now. And I'm still teaching. Read. Let the woman learn in silence uh -huh. with all subjection. All subjection. Verse 12, but I suffer not a woman to teach. God does not allow you to teach. Not me. God does not allow you to be a teacher okay. over me. Okay. Read. Nor to you so, serve authority over so the men. You're not supposed to have authority over the men. She wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. But Pamela, you don't want to hear the Bible. The Bible tells you to do what it says. There's still it. things you have to do. You because have to I teach the women and the me. children how to love their husband. You can't, a woman think they already know how to love men. Okay, but the you. older women, which is I you, Pamela, is you're true. supposed to know this. this you are an older Why woman. Pamela, back up. Come back around here. We want you around I here. Know. I know, yeah, because when the me. Bible come out, a lot of people run from the Bible. Read. But to be in silence. But to be in silence, Pamela. You don't want to do that because you are a false prophet. That's the Bible. The Bible tells you to be in subjection to the man because Eve went off because y'all didn't want to listen then. And the same spirit is in our black women today. They, you, you can read with us, but the problem is you don't want to obey what it says. Read. For Adam was first. She told us to shut our mouths. But... All praises. That's what God said. Read. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Now, now look, man, don't be a simp, bruh. Bruh. Don't get sucked up in that stuff. Read. <laughs> Verse 14. And Adam was not deceived. Adam was not deceived. It said Eve was deceived. And right now we have our beloved sister. Pamela, who has been deceived. Right, right. All kinds of confusion. She literally says that a man's hair is his covering. But then she'll at the same time say when a man took the hat off, he's uncovered. The woman's hair, that's her covering, so she don't have to wear a covering over her head because she doesn't want to be hot and bothered. When God ain't making it that goddamn hot, it's actually probably cooler for you to cover your head. Now you got shade on your face, but our people will make up any excuse in the world not to do what God says. Right. Read verse 10 again. <laughs> verse, read verse 11. Oh yeah, verse 11. Verse 11, let the woman learn in silence. Our women must learn in silence. It is not permitted unto our sisters to be pastors. Right. That is not what you're supposed to do. She is a pastor and claiming that God is going to guide her in a congregation. She is claiming that all these different things are going to happen. We out here for you. But our women don't want to accept it. She says she watches us. And she believes some of the things we teach. But she doesn't believe 
that the woman should be silent. But she believes some of the things we teach when everything we said we read out of the Bible. We read it out of the Bible. Talk to me here. I'm right here. All praises. I'm glad that you're here. So why are you so mocking what, me? I'm, I'm not mocking someone. you. I'm only telling I'm the truth. You're praying for him. Yeah, you prayed out saying. in the open. Yeah. Now let's well, get mad. Now, are you supposed to do that, well, Pamela? Wait, wait. Are you he supposed to pray Bible? for people in the I open? Pamela, let's get Matthew 6 and 6. Pamela, listen, listen, listen. You just did this. Read this. Here we go. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. Like we said, our women are deceived and she is destroyed. Read. But go, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. Into privacy. Not praying out in the open. Not praying out in the open. Jump up to verse 5. Is it 5? Verse 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. Because it's hypocritical to do what? Read. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues. Because that's what that's what the hypocrites do. They like to be seen. Read. And in the corners of the streets. And in the corners of the street. Yeah. It's a shame how the most high knows his people. He know we're gonna be right out here acting like we praying for people out in the open. This right here just said that the hypocrites would do that. So if you're one of those people that like to do, what does she say? She's a prayer, a warrior, a prayer warrior. God, dog. Oh. She's a prayer warrior, and she just showed how destroyed she is. Right. A prayer warrior. I don't even, that's a new term for me. I don't know. Maybe other people have heard of it. That's, I haven't. <laughs> Read. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues uh -huh. and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. That's why they do that, because they want to be seen. She comes up, why are you mocking me when I'm praying for somebody? Well, you wasn't even supposed to be praying out here anyway. Right. Read on. Verily I say unto you, uh -huh. they have their reward. They have their reward. She was seen. That's all she's going to get. She was seen. So whatever she just prayed for, and whatever the brother just went to her for, nothing's going to happen because what just happened was all the reward that was that's going to be given. Right. The scene. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.